हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन द नेक्स्ट फिजिक्स लेक्चर दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर थर्टी एट माई सेल्फ राजेश लगट फिजिक्स टीचर एंड नाउ आई हैव टू सी हियर द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव द ऑसिलेशन दिस इज द लास्ट पॉइंट इन दैट चैप्टर द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ एंगुलर एस एच एम एंड द मैग्नेट वाइब्रेटिंग इन अ यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फर्स्ट वेव टू सी हियर द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ एंगुलर एस एच एम in the starting of this chapter we have to see the differential equation of instead of angular this is the linear shm that means straight line and differential equation of angular shm that means along the curve path along the circular path this is nothing but the angular shm then what is mean by the angular shm first we have to define this angular shm angular shm is defined as an oscillatory motion of a body in which the torque is directly proportional to the angular displacement in this oscillatory motion of the body in which the torque is directly proportional to angular displacement and its direction is opposite to that of the angular displacement direction is opposite to that of the angular displacement and torque is directly proportional to angular displacement and this is nothing but the angular shm understand this again you have to see here angular shm is defined as it is an oscillatory motion of a body in which the torque is directly proportional to its angular displacement and its direction is opposite to that of the angular displacement this is nothing but the angular shm then in this angular shm for example we have to see here the consider a thin wire which is the hanging from the rigid support and if the disc is uh, slightly twisted about this axis and release it then it perform the rotational motion this disc can be the rotate clockwise clockwise or anti clockwise then this is the a torsional motion or this is called also the torsional oscillation or the angular oscillation in this angular shm the restoring torque must be act on this body and which is given by the to is directly proportional to theta and therefore proportional sign you have to remove here then to is equal to minus mu theta where mu is a constant proportion is constant and negative sign indicates that the torque and angular displacement are opposite with each other this is the equation number 1 suppose the to is equal to minus mu theta then we know that if i is the moment of inertia of a body then alpha is the angular acceleration then the torque is also given by we have to seen in the first chapter the rotational dynamics the relation between the to and alpha that is nothing but the to is equal to i alpha then instead of substituting this alpha to is equal to i into d2 theta upon dt square therefore this is the equation number 2 then compare the equation 1 and 2 lhs is toto and therefore we can compare this uh, rhs then we can write here i into d2 theta upon dt square is equal to minus mu theta then this minus take this side this is plus therefore i into d2 theta upon dt square plus mu theta is equal to zero this is the equation number 3 which is known as the differential equation of angular shm i d2 theta by dt square plus mu theta is equal to 0 is known as the differential equation of angular shm okay now we have to see on the basis of this differential equation of angular shm we have to see here the next point the magnet vibrating in a uniform magnetic field for that purpose we have to draw here the diagram and consider a bar magnet having the ns pole and which are suspended in a uniform magnetic field of induction which axis parallel to the direction of the magnetic field and if this bar magnet is given the small angular displacement theta and release it then it begins to oscillate on these two sides and uh, perform the angular shm and when this bar magnet perform this angular shm at that time the mu is the magnetic dipole moment and b is the magnetic field then the magnitude of the torque acting on this bar magnet which is given by the to is equal to mu b sin theta where mu is the magnetic dipole moment and the b is the magnetic field of induction 
and uh, magnitude of the torque we have to see in here this 2 is equal to mu b sin theta but again if this theta is the very very small then uh, instead of sin theta we know that we can directly write sin theta is equal to theta because theta is very small therefore 2 is equal to mu b theta suppose this is the equation number 1 again we know the relation this i is the mi moment of inertia alpha is the angular acceleration the relation between them the tau is equal to i alpha then compare this equation 1 and 2 because this tau is equal to mu b theta and tau is equal to i alpha lhs is same and therefore we can compare this rhs mu b theta is equal to i alpha or also we can write this i alpha is equal to mu b theta but we have to write here the negative sign because this uh, angular displacement and the torque they are the opposing with each other and so that we can write here that i alpha is equal to mu b theta that is the minus mu b theta because these two sides are the opposing with each other therefore we have to take here the minus sign then we have to find out the alpha that is the angular acceleration alpha is equal to minus mu b upon i into theta alpha is equal to minus mu b this i take this side mu b upon i into theta negative sign as it is therefore in uh, magnitude form we can write again this uh, alpha is equal to instead of minus we have to take here plus mu b i upon theta and this angular acceleration which can be shows that this equation alpha is equal to minus mu b upon i into theta which can be represent the magnet perform the angular shm because this angular acceleration is directed towards the angular displacement and also directly proportional to its angular displacement opposing with this each other so that this magnet performs the angular shm then this angular acceleration per its angular displacement we can find out this is the magnitude form of this angular acceleration alpha is equal to mu b upon i into theta therefore we can also find out the angular acceleration per in its angular displacement so that divided by this theta 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 get cancelled and angular acceleration per in its angular displacement is simply mu b upon i theta should be cancelled and this is remaining term it should be mu b upon i therefore the period of the vibration of this magnet which is given by t is equal to 2 pi upon under root angular acceleration per its angular displacement we can find out earlier mu b upon i 